If you saw yesterday's video, you saw me smoke up some stuff on Tail of Raw with the muscle loader. Today, today, the time has come for SRP. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more daily Call of the Wild content. Most things seems to work out fine with the minis, as long as we were close enough to the animals. That out there is 220 meters. I do believe that might be on the long range of what we should be shooting. But... Never mind. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, we could have we could have hit the um, spine, I suppose, but I didn't go that high, and we were way over the uh, 200 zeroing limit. So I'm pretty sure that should just be double lungs. But that just take them down like that. That's um interesting. That that's like way faster than the M1 at least if we just got the double long shot. I think we shot it at around 220 meters and it dropped right on the spot. So let's see what we got. That was just a double long shot on 220 meters exact. Well, glad I called that before um I I didn't add this in the editing afterwards. Calm down guys, I actually guessed it. But um double long dropped it right on the spot with the 50 caliber minis. Dang. And just for the fun of it, I want to try it out with the mountain goat as well. It's going to be a little bit of an awkward angle, but I really do want to test the mini. So if we can go somewhat around here and get a uh, long shot, just to kind of see what we can do with this. Oh, that is going down as well. Is that a single or a double long though? I imagine it to only be a single, but dang, it bled out fast. Just look at the amount of blood, high bleed rate. Single long shot, single long shot, and he barely even moved. That is incredible. Very impressed with the minis. And we've already seen what it can do to the mountain lion. So I don't feel like it is as important to do, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys this. That's a lot of mythicals over there. That's uh, actually four of them. <laughs> Got another seven moving away up there, but uh, this spot is just too insane. Right outside the outpost here on Dinosaur Hill in the early morning hours. Oh my god, we actually have a chance here. He's nervous, so there might actually be a puma over there. I haven't yet spotted it though, so we're just going to take our time. And hopefully he is going to walk down towards... Oh, the drinking zone is about to end as well. So we might actually be in real trouble here. But that looks to be a huge guy. Oh, he is turning broadside. Can I do this? <laughs> Holy smokes. Oh my god. He actually dropped right on the spot. And again, I don't know if it's because we ended up catching the uh, spinal cord or if it's simply just that powerful, even at this distance. I saw him run around, be nervous. I'm sure he has been spooked by a mountain lion somewhere. But I didn't see the mountain lion. Um, else, I should have spooked him, but that just wouldn't really make any sense. Because I didn't really make a lot of noise. But uh, he's down right there, and he looks huge. I really just needed to get that curse of the bighorn broken. This is like my third or fourth since I picked it up. And I don't even feel like it's been that long since I got my first diamond bighorn. But let's see. It is a 166.40, 150.93 kilos, humongous bighorn and left lung, liver, stomach. There's nothing left of this guy. Holy on 200 meters as well. Big male right there. Out there, on about 220 meters out, we have a black bear. I don't know if we can, but I know I want to try. <laughs> he is actually dropping. He's actually dropping really fast as well. That's gotta be lungs. That's gotta be lungs at least. This muscle loader is so dang powerful. It's insane. If you can live with the, um, well, take like 30 seconds to actually reload the thing, then dang, this is a monster. Just look at it. We hit a vital organ right there. He took a step down there and he crumbled up right over here. This could be double vital. It's only a single lung. 
it's only a single lung. Dang, the um, expansion on this must be insane or something, because they seem to drop so, so fast. Expansion 30, okay, that is why they drop down so fast. We have a lot of penetration, but then on top of it, we have a lot of expansion as well, which just makes them bleed out so insanely fast. I want to try. I know we're not going to get any kind of integrity on them, but still. What kind of damage are we doing to a plains bison with the muscle loader? I still believe this... It already died. I was just about to say, I still believe this gun should be a class 4 till 9, if not 5 till 9 even. I know it would take away from shooting the white tails and such, so I do prefer it being a 4 to 9. But looking at this kind of power on a plain bison, which is one of the biggest animals in the game, and it just goes down like this. Liver, right lung, stomach. Please reclass this gun for level 9 animals as well, man. It's just too good, guys. It's just simply too strong. There's actually a mythical bear over there that's fleeing from a mountain lion somewhere. I haven't found him. And I don't need to, because I'm going to take that guy down instead. The muscle loader makes very, very quick work of that as well. I am so super impressed of how the muscle loader is performing here on Silver Ridge Peaks. Definitely a gun that you should um, give a little bit of time once in a while. First of all, it's super fun. And second of all, it's super effective as well. That one actually dropped right on the spot. It is very, very powerful. Anything up to 200 meters, I've had no issues. This guy, heart, left lung shot. Didn't get the right lung. But it's very, very powerful. And definitely, if you have the M1 from the uh, smoking barrel pack anyway you have this gun available so um yeah give it a try guys uh sometimes just gotta do something a little bit different and see how things go and uh, it's gone really really well i might have to actually start using this gun a little bit more than i've done recently all right i'm actually not sure that i've ever seen that many mountain goat on one place before it doesn't even look like we have anything very impressive, but holy, there is a lot of them. I think the biggest we have is three, so that's actually kind of disappointing. Not even gonna bother with it, but um, that's a lot of cash. If you just went up into the shooting stand right there and ended up just taking them down one by one, that's a lot of money right there. Got another big bighorn out there. It's not going to be a diamond, but I'm um, definitely going to get the uh, smoke treatment. And that's actually a frontal shot, I think. We managed to pick up a lung regardless, but uh, that definitely wasn't broadside and um, seemed to take him down rather fast anyway. So should be no issues. Oh, there's a... Uh, Mountain lion. Ah, uh, let me see. Let me. Oh, no, no, no. There we go. Nah, it's just a small level three. We do not need that. Let's just see if we did indeed get a single lung on this guy. We did. Oh, look at the penetration, though. <laughs> We're uh, almost into the liver as well on this guy. Going directly frontal on him. Even have a huge weight level four over there. He is out far, way further than what I should be shooting. I think he's out on two fifty. But it could potentially be a diamond if he is the long or uh, the top range of the estimate. So let's try. It. Oh, <laughs> he just completely flipped. I have a bad feeling about this. That to me looked like a spine shot. And uh, of course, that would kill any kind of... Um, well, not if we did get the lungs as well. But if we didn't, then we lost out on one of the check marks. Let's just see uh, it does look like vital blood so we might have actually caught what we need 101.70 so what that was a double lung shot on 244 meters uh well there is quite some drop to it but um i definitely did expect to at least get a um spine shot on it as well the way he flipped but apparently not dang <laughs> 